If you enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Seriously, it takes like 0.17 seconds. How's it going guys? Shadow Pyro here coming at you with another Destiny Tips and Tricks gameplay. Today we're going to be playing in the same area where in a previous video I showed you how to get a legendary and rare item farm. Uh, what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an infinite chest exploit. Uh, for those of you who don't know, within the game you have little uh, hidden loot chests hidden throughout the maps and you can go there and open them up and it's kind of like Minecraft. When you're playing in a dungeon you get just random cool things. And uh, over here in this area, I actually found two of them. Uh, two chests that constantly spawn throughout the time that you're over here in this area. And I'm going to show you where those are in just a second. Uh, the first place that you want to check is right over here. Uh, if you're standing over there where I just was, you're going to go to the left over here where the goblins spawn. And you're going to take off. And you're, there's two places over here that the chest can spawn. And you check either one of these, and you will find a chest. Okay, so we're going to check the first one, look around, you see that there's no chest in here, so we're going to go check the other spot, and we're going to find a chest. And then there's another spot on the other side of the map we're going to get to in just a second. It's important to remember, guys, before you go into these little rooms to check on these chests, and see there's our first chest right there. It's important to remember, though, before you go into these rooms to, you know, get these chests, that you kill all the enemies that are surrounding it. Um... Okay, so the next one is when you go across the to the other side of the map where the dregs spawn, there's that big atrium type thing where uh, the captain spawns, right? And the two entrances for the chests are on either side of that atrium. So this is on the left side of the atrium if you're looking directly at it. And you can see there, there's our chest. Wham, bam, two chests, no work, right? It's pretty sweet. So uh, basically, the way that this works is every approximately four minutes... A chest will spawn and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right over here after I kill this captain where the other spot is that the chest can spawn on this side because it's really it's a uh, it's 50 50 you know whether it's gonna spawn in one or the other uh, areas but if you check both areas every four minutes you will find a chest guaranteed uh, it's just to the left of me right now and to show you guys that this is legit I'm gonna play through this gameplay for the next four minutes and I'm gonna show you guys unedited that these chests you know respawn and I'm just gonna go ahead and play through it in real time and then go check these areas again and show you guys that the chests actually do respawn uh, real quick I wanna say that if you don't know where this area is I'm gonna put a link in the description to this video to my other video where I show you how to get to this area and uh, this little elevator right here that you see this is at the top right in the middle of the map occasionally every great now and then a chest will spawn in here so keep an eye on this area too I like to come in here when my health goes low and you know let it regenerate I reload my weapons in there and everything and like I said every great once in a while a chest will spawn in there so that could be like a little bonus chest for you but uh, you know with a chest spawning in this area every four minutes you get two of them so what that breaks down to is for every hour that you play in this area, you can collect up to 30 chests, if not more, if they spawn in that little elevator type area. And you add those uh, collections to what you're getting when you're doing the little item farm like I'm doing here, you know, in between chest times, just kill as many enemies as possible. And, I mean, you can really just clean up in this area. Uh, also, I want to do a quick update to my previous video. In my previous video, I told you to watch out if there was other players in this area because they can steal your items. Now that I've played it a little bit more, now that I have a better understanding of how it works, other players cannot pick up your drops. They can't do it. And also, if there's other players in your fire team that are playing in this area, killing enemies just like you are, they can actually produce drops for you to collect and vice versa. So the more people that you have in this area, actually the better chances you have of collecting rare item drops because every enemy that they kill has a chance of dropping something for you just like every enemy that you kill has a chance of dropping something for them so the more people that you have playing over here the better chances you have uh, and also with the chests uh, the chests they are a one-time use so if you have four people in this area and one of you collects a chest or collects the items from a chest then the other players cannot collect those items from that chest. 
But uh, you're going to see here in just a second, I'm going to go back to these areas. And sometimes it can be a little tricky, it can be a little stubborn. And you'll go check an area, there won't be a chest there. You'll go check the second area and there won't be a chest there. If that happens, just go back to the first place you checked and there will be a chest there the second time you go in. And like I said, that's a rare occurrence. You're going to see it in this, in this video. So you're going to know what I'm talking about. But don't get all discouraged and pissy and all that good stuff. It's, it's still going to be there. Also, uh, a good rule of thumb is if you check one side of the map, let's say, for example, you go to the side that the goblins spawn on and you find a chest over there, that means that the chest on the dreg side is ready to go. So go or head over there. As soon as you collect one chest, head to the opposite side of the map and collect the second chest. And you can see here we're picking up items left and right, and it's just it's such a great system, guys. And you know, as I mentioned in my previous video, this is not foolproof, it's not guaranteed, but this is by far the best chance that you have of collecting these drops. So you can see here we're gonna go check over here. There's not a chest in here, so we're going to go to the other side of this atrium and collect our chest. And, going back to what I said a second ago, if it's not there, then all you have to do is go back to this first spot that we just came out of, and there's a very good chance that it will have already respawned and be ready for you to collect. Now, what you get in these chests in this area, it, it ranges. Sometimes you'll just get some spirit bloom and some cash, but as you'll see in this video... Uh, we're about to collect on the other side. You know, here we have two pieces of uncommon, you know, items, and the spirit bloom, and then of course, you know, you're always going to get some glimmer and stuff like that. But you can see over here, we're we're about to get a really good chest, and these they're a little bit rarer, but you know, they do happen. If you play for an hour, you'll probably get two or three chests similar to this one. But you can see here, we walk in here. There's not a chest there. We're going to go check out the other one, which is just right over here around the corner. We're on the goblin side right now. And now we walk in this room and we look around and we see, okay, well, there's not a chest here. And this is exactly what I was talking about, guys. If this happens to you, just go back to the first place that you checked on this side of the map and that chest will respawn. And as you can see right here, we were just in here. The chest wasn't there, but now we're here. It's there and boom, look at that. We cleaned up on this one. We have something that we can sell to the Cryptarch and we have two rare items that we can take to the Cryptarch to get decoded. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I just wanted to give you a short little rundown of how this works. If you have any questions, drop a comment in the box below. I will be more than happy to help and answer your questions. If you need to check my other video to see how to get to this area, the link to it will be in the description. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe because I will be uploading videos like this constantly. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.